back to my channel. Today I am diving you guys into what my everyday makeup routine looks like. Now I don't wear makeup every single day. There are definitely days that I just do not want to wear makeup at all because it's just one of those lazy days where I want to stay home, watch movies all day, eat snacks, and just, you know, enjoy the lazy day. But on the days that I do wear makeup, this is what the makeup look looks like. It's like more of a natural kind of look. Um, that looks kind of like this. Enough of me talking, let's get straight into the video. So I am first going to start off with my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, and this one's the one that I use. Once I heard Poreless Face Primer, I was like, hell to the yes, that is what I need. I have crazy pores right on my nose, and it's so, so annoying. I'm just using that and spreading it all around my face, especially the nose area. It's that time of month and my period just said, you know what, psych, I'm giving you some pimples this month. So there you go. Okay, so next I am going to move on to this infallible 24 hour fresh wear. I've used so many foundations. I have extremely dry skin, so any foundation that I try that just doesn't fit my dry skin, change it up. And I guess that's what also causes me to break out because I change foundations a lot. But I have been using this one for quite a while and this is in the shade 411. So this is the one that I'm wearing. Just put a little bit of pumps on my finger. I just like to put little dots because I feel like this kind of distributes the foundation a little bit better around my face. So now I'm just going to take my beauty blender and I am just going to blend this all over my face. Next, I'm going to be taking my concealer and right now I have been using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer it's in the shade Fair Rose. So I just like to put that right underneath my eye. And any areas where I kind of have like a little bit of like darkness. And now taking the same beauty blender, I'm just going to blend that all over my face. I'm going to be taking the Airspun Loose Face Powder. It looks like this. And this is in the shade Naturally Neutral. So I'm going to take some of that. So one thing that I've learned is that I stopped baking underneath my eye because I realized that that really dried out that area a lot since I, like I said, I do have dry skin. All I do is just take a little bit and kind of just distribute that um, underneath the eye just a little bit so I don't just let it sit there for a while because I do dry out a lot in that area. Put some right underneath the bone, so like right here, right underneath where the bronzer is gonna go. I'm just gonna distribute whatever's left on this brush all over my face. Once I put the loose powder, now I'm going to move on to the bronzer. I've been using the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. Now, this one's pretty old, probably expired, but I still use it, so I'm just gonna take a brush and I am just going to add it right onto the bone area. And I like to go in circular motions and then I like to just go up to the forehead area. We do need a nice looking jawline, you know, for pictures, videos, all of the above. I am moving on to my nose. Let's contour the nose. My nose is my biggest insecurity, you guys. I have the biggest nose in the entire world. I still don't think it looks very small when I contour it, but I tried. So I'm just gonna add some right up there, like a little like ring. I'm just gonna go upward. I'm moving on to my eyebrows. I already have bushy eyebrows, as you guys can tell. I don't really do too much to my eyebrows, but at the same time, I kind of do like to angle them correctly and make them look semi-cute. For my eyebrows, I am using the Tattoo Studio by Maybelline, and this is in the shade 382. It's the black brown, and it looks like that. I'm using this little brush that I came with, it has the brush to brush them, and then the brush 
to angle them correctly. Um, at the beginning, when I first put some on the brush, it has a lot of the product. So I'm just gonna take that and start from the end. Once I'm done doing the eyebrows, I am going to move on to my eyelids. Normally what I do to my eyelids is just use the same bronzer that I used to bronze my face. My mom gave me this cute little Lancome palette. This one is called the Sultry Sky Quad Palette. The shade that I'm going to be using today is this top one. It's kind of like a bronzy color but it has some like a glittery tone to it and I'm going to distribute it onto my eyelid. I'm going to go in circular motions. I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. And then I'm also going to take a little bit and I am just going to add that right underneath um, my eye line. There you go. Also, I forgot to do something very important. I like to take the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I take a little flat brush. That's what it looks like. I kind of just take it and just kind of like dab it on the little concealer brush to add that right underneath my brow, kind of where like the arch is. Do a little bit. This concealer is powerful. Take my beauty blender and just blend that all in. Now, what I'm going to be doing is moving on to my mascara I'm using an eyelash curler and I'm just gonna curl them lashes. I forgot to do a very important step. I like to take some of the loose face powder and add it right on the sides of my nose. Kinda adds a little bit like of a natural look. Now, we're moving on to the mascara. I already curled my eyelashes and then the mascara that I've been using for such a long time and it's my favorite is the Falsies Lash Lift from Maybelline and I use it um, as waterproof mascara. I feel like it actually helps my eyelashes stay curly and not like go down. I've used the non-waterproof ones and those I feel like they don't really help them stay curly. Once I'm done putting on my mascara, I like to add um, a pink blush. This one is from Lancome. I'm not sure what color it is because the color faded because this one's also pretty old, but I still use it because why not? I'm just going to add my brush in there and all I'm gonna do is add that on my cheeks. Now I'm going to be taking my highlighter and I am using this e.l.f. highlighter. This is in the shade Moonlight Pearls. Oh wow, that name is so cute. Moonlight Pearls. I like that. What I'm going to be doing is taking the same brush that I used to put on my blush. I'm taking it and just kind of tapping it a little bit. I'm going to add that onto my cheeks. And then I'm also taking whatever is left on the brush and just kind of taking it up to the forehead area. Ooh, and then also don't forget to add some to the inner corners of your eye so that we can look awake. I look awake. Taking my same little pinky finger right on the nose, like that. And then to finish off the look, I like to use, I haven't been really using like lipstick or anything on my lips because my lips have been extremely dry lately. So I'm just taking this Neutrogena lip balm that I got from Target last night and it looks like this right there. And I'm just going to be adding that on my lips. I also like that it has a little tint to it, so it looks like I'm wearing lip gloss or lipstick or something, but it's just a lip balm, so it's helping my lips while making my lips look nice and juicy and colorful. So definitely recommend. I will link it down below so you guys can check it out if you guys also have dry lips because this weather is crazy. Finally, we are going to be adding some setting spray. And the setting spray that I've been obsessed with is this e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set. Like I said, e.l.f. just has really good makeup products that are very affordable. So, sorry, that was a car driving by. So I'm just gonna take that and just add it all over my face. Let that sink in. Wow, I feel so refreshed. 
So this is a complete makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also follow me on my Instagram because I have been posting there lately quite a lot. I'm still getting on that game mode of posting often. So stay tuned for that and follow me. That would be super, super amazing. So thank you again for spending time with me and I will see you guys in my next video.